Hi, my name's Stuart and I'm here to show you the Concord Transfer File. Now, this is what the product looks like and it's a little bit unusual. When most people see it, they, for the first time, they suddenly think, oh my goodness, it looks a bit like an alien. It's a little bit weird with these springy things like this. But let me show you. They, first of all, they come in boxes of 25 and this is how big the box is, okay? This is what they look like when they come. They come folded in the box. They come in a variety of different colours. I just happen to have a red and a blue one here. And they come printed on the outside and with the references, the Concord references for the different colours and the codes. And secondly, a space on the front for what the documents inside it can be. Now, in order to use this, what you need to do is you need to take out these little springs and then you bend them over. Now, of course, what you'd have going on in the middle of this is you'd have your paper sitting within it. And then that goes over the top like that and that becomes the file. So what it is, in effect, it's like a, like a lever arch file, but instead of having the rigid board holding the product, it's all held within a document like this. Now, when you get to, when you get to it, you can, of course, you can be turning the pages over and then leaving some pages on this side and some pages on this side. You then simply separate it. You can then take out the sheet of paper from either side and then reconnect the file like so. Now, this is called a transfer file. And sometimes you get transfer pocket files. Now the difference with a transfer pocket file is it has a pocket on one side. So once the documents are in, they can then hide, they, they can stay within the pocket. Now, of course, because this, this is a very popular and quite an old and dated product, the transfer file has got modern alternatives. Now, they're not allowed to call them transfer files because it would be an infringement of the copyright with Concord. So what they call them are spring files because that's more or less exactly what they are. So this is an example of an unbranded spring file. Of course, you still get exactly the same colour specifications and choice that you would with a branded product. But generally, the prices are cheaper than the brands. So you can have exactly the same the weight of this material if you fill this weight it feels pretty much exactly the same. The only difference is that this is a branded item and this one is unbranded. Now, it's for you to decide which one you want to work with and which one you want to use, and so I'm just here to help make your choice a little easier and explain some of the differences. If you want information on this or any other product, please go to the website www.cheapstationery.com.